Welcome to Hawkerpedia Food Crawl, and today we are at Bukit Merah Central. That's right. Now we are at Manling FMB, which opened March this year. We are going to be eating our way around the entire place. So, are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. This way. We're going to Manling to eat everything. Now, this is Mawa Mira. They were established in 1988 and they have been in this location for over a decade. So, they've got their own loyal following and we're going to see what we can get from them today. So, this is Makcik Rosna. Hi. 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 What do you recommend? Okay, I recommend you uh, Ayam Penyet. That's our best seller. And Tahu Goreng. Alright, so I got the famous tauhu goreng and their ayam penyet which comes with a nice dollop of chilli as you can see. Sambal, sambal. Sambal. We got epo epo and a burgadil over here. You know what this is? So this is called kue lapis and this here is called putri salad. We also have this very very interesting dessert which is called the... Jungko. Jungko. Okay, Jungko. which is the... Uh, Top layer, gula melaka. Yeah. Middle layer, green part is the pandan custard and below that is santan which essentially is like a coconut cream custard. Before we dig in, Check out the queue right in front of their stall, you know? And it's getting bigger. Ooh, ooh. to get everything there. Oh, look at that, ooh. Brown, green, white, just like Shrek. Ooh. How have I missed this all my life? Tauhu goreng. So enjoyable. Tauhu goreng? Pretty good, pretty good. Their best seller, which is their ayam penyet. Ayam penyet. Which is probably what most people here are queuing so, for. So, ayam penyet directly translates to flat chicken. See how the meat is all pounded in? Yeah. Mm. I can see why they're so popular. One of the best ayam penyet skins I've ever tasted. I'm pretty sure their own secret seasoning in that skin because it tastes like no other ayam penit I've ever You tried. really, really taste the um, marinade, the seasoning yeah. and the chicken. Yeah. And with the sambal over here, I don't think it's very spicy. Uh, it's the kind of heat that creeps out in you and the longer you leave it there, the seasoning is all throughout the entire chicken. The chicken is moist. Mm. It's not too dry. The sambal is a perfect... Perfect combination, yeah. really. This is, this is why they are so popular. All right, so we are here at 165 Pai Ku Xia Mian, which basically means pork ribs, prawn noodles, and I'm with the boss, Alan, right over here. Sir, obviously, I'm definitely getting the Pai Ku Xia Mian. What else do you recommend? I would like to recommend the uh, Mala Kolo noodles, which is very popular now and also is very uh, tasty. Mm. Yeah. This is the Pai Ku Xia Mian, pork rib prawn noodles. Mm, okay, and uh, I've got Mala Kolo pork rib prawn noodles. Ooh. Okay, so it's supposedly Mala. I've uh, never tried Mala Kolo noodles before, so interested to taste it. I want to try the soup that I got. Ooh. Very comforting. It's actually kind of silky if you think about it, and it just slides down your throat. Very, very nice flavor, very nice uh, feel. The classic soup version, the yellow noodles and kuei tiao, they do soak in the soup, but that's what's nice about it. So this is mala kolo noodles, okay? Uh -huh. That corner right there, that's your mala chili. Now we're talking, now we are in business. Look at that. Let's see what dry kolo mala noodles taste like. Well, what are you feeling? You know how you love the springiness of a good bowl of noodles? Yeah. yeah. Do you like the nice, Slight spiciness and numbness of mala. Okay. That's that. Okay. Try something. Take a bite of the noodles. Okay. A spoonful of soup. Oh. Got a mixer. Nice combo. That is a match made in heaven. Who knew that mala and kolo noodles would make such a good match? Luckily, we still have a few more things to try today. Yeah, let's check out the other thing. Alright, so now we're gonna try Three Kingdoms Mala Hot Pot. This is their first outlet anywhere in Singapore. Alright, they've got 67 different types of ingredients for us to choose from. That's quite a lot. But what makes them special is that their mala based sauce is made up of 45 different types of ingredients. That's a lot more than usual uh, mala based sauces, okay? So, okay, thank you. Yeah, you want rice or noodles to go with it? Yeah, let's go with some noodles. What spicy level? Um, let's do, let's do tsong la. Just middle spice for now. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so here's what we got. The la zi zi, which is basically spicy chicken. Usually fried, which is uh, how it is here. Mm. Crispy, good. Yeah. Um, meaty, very important because a lot of these la zi zi, they use um, chopped up bits of chicken where you don't get a lot of meat, you get a lot of bone. There is an element of freshness in there with these little green chilies here. So you still have that freshness along with the fried thing. So it's a nice balance of the two. Yeah. So the main course I got from Three Kingdoms is this nice, huge bowl. Okay, a mala hot pot as you would call it. Uh, we got a bunch of ingredients here. So how you usually do a mala hot pot, you get your ingredients, you get them to fry it and you tell them the spice level. So the level I got for us is the zong la. Okay, medium Me spice. Medium spicy. Which, and they have different levels? Of course they have different levels, but the levels go one, two, three, five, five. ten. T ten? Yeah. So, so this is just gonna mix everything up. When you usually get mala and you call it, get it dry, it still has a layer of oil and everything. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's a bit wet. Now they do theirs in a more Singaporean or Malaysian kind of style, which is not as wet, not as oily. Oh. So when you ask for it dry, it is dry. Oh. Mm. This is level three. It is a bit spicy already, you know. So if you go level five, level ten, oh man, you're gonna suffer. Not killer, but I would say that if you are not a fan of spice, this is going to be somewhere up there for you. More than the numbness or the uh, spiciness of things, it's a lot more of the fragrance that I feel that is featured in this dish. Did you notice know something is missing in here? I think I know what you're talking about, but just to be sure, we're going to say on three. Okay, one, two, three. Peppercorns. Peppercorns. So you don't find any peppercorns in yeah, here, okay? Why? But you still have the taste. Yeah, which is great because you won't have to like bite into one and hurt your teeth. It's happened to me before, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but you still get the flavors, and that's because one of the forty-five uh, ingredients to use to make their sauce is uh, peppercorn oil or something like that, which I think is an extract of the peppercorn. And they mix it all in, and then they fry it in, so you get all the flavors coated evenly, without risking your teeth. The coating is so even. The flavor, the sauce. I feel that the, the star of this mala dish is the sauce. Which takes five hours to cook. We're gonna try the devil's challenge. If the two of us were to finish the entire pot in 20 minutes, the entire pot's free. Ooh. You can challenge on this devil cakes mala. You must be 21 years old and above. Once you're successful, the $38.80 uh, meal will be waived. No drinking, no wiping face. Let us know in the comments if you want Hawker Peter to go for any of these food challenges. So, this over here, this is Chopstick. They have several locations all around Singapore. Let's just say, I've seen a bit of the size, the decent uh, portion size that they have. Sorry, decent's not the word. The word for the portion of these things are humongous. All right, so what did you get for us? Okay, I got you your favorite fried things with cheese. This right here is their signature cheesy, crispy chicken. All right, what do you get? This is called the hot plate beast platter. All right, I'm gonna go for it first because, oh, cheese. When they were pouring the cheese over, oh, oh. oh no, stick hand, look. Look at that. Look at that pull. Look at that pull. Anything that has cheese is good. And if it's fried and has cheese, it is excelente. The whole clump of cheese, I got the super cheese. Oh my gosh. Ah. There's a little bit of that Italian herb. I'm guessing it's either laced over the cheese or it's in the chicken itself. Let me give you a little tour of what is the beast platter that they have. Start things off with a little bit of egg. This is your steak. A whole sirloin right over, oh my gosh. Right here, pork chop, and then below is the lamb chop right over here. So basically what you have here are all the farm animals on a platter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, still kind of juicy. Not juicy. It's a pretty thick uh, cut there. Cut, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's a fatty piece. Oh, look at that one, the fat's still there. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Perfectly done. Yeah, we got it medium, and that is medium. It's not overdone. It's still juicy. This is their pork chop. Ah. Mm hmm. Seasoned just right. 
and I will chop the lamb chop. Lamb chop. Play along. Let's go. Actually, this lamb chop is not bad. But that joke was worse. I'm actually enjoying the beast platter a lot more than the fried stuff. For me, once you get older, you kind of enjoy the non-fried options more. The grilled options to me are where it's at. And since we're here, we have to try Bangkok Street Mukata. You've definitely heard of them before. You know, their Mukata comes with a variety of ingredients. And they also have a variety of locations all around Singapore. Yep. Okay, and we got our set. Okay, you, you've you got all the uh, proteins over there. Yes, sir. What do you see? I see prawns, chicken, squid, pork belly, pork, hot dogs, scallop. Oh, they got scallops. They got scallops. And crab sticks. Look at the color change. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? You can already start to smell it. Okay, you can smell that the, yeah. the lard um, flavors. The, the, the prawn the now. prawn flavors. It's just a little bit of the meat. Wow, just look, just look at the fat rendering out of the bacon. Look at the prawn head. See that? That is the juices of the prawn just coming out. A good mukata needs to come with a good Thai chili sauce. We're gonna dip this prawn into the sauce. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm awake. The prawns are not bad. Yeah, we've got a couple of pieces of bacon that are already ready to crisp up. Right there. Mm. Oh, crispy. Right, right? Shook. That is uh, the juices that came out from the prawn head that we were grilling. Mm. Extra cream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's cream. got the prawn. Mm. Oh! Black pepper pork. Mm. Oh. Wow. That so this is a great way to end our day here at Manling FMB. Mm. Just chilling out, barbecuing some meat on the Mukata grill. That's right. And that is it for this edition of Hawkerpedia Food Crawl. If you want to try all the amazing dishes we tried today, come on down to Manlin FMB. They're located at Block 165, Bukit Mira Central, which is a stone's throw away from the Bukit Mira Interchange. That's right, you don't have to throw the stone very hard, just a bit. It's just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff with the videos. We will see you at the next one. Bye. Hey, stay bus, stay bus, stay bus. Yeah. Uh, what bus goes to Geelang? Hey, Bocho? No, uh, I stay there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go.